This is an excerpt from the book Ancient Hindu Science, Its Impact on the Ancient and Modern Worlds, written by Professor Alok Kumar. Here, Alokji is writing about Smriti, that is memory, as an answer to book burning. I quote, In the Gurukuls, the ancient Hindus memorized their literature, mostly poetry, verbatim. The spoken words, not the written words, have been the basis of literary and scientific traditions of the Hindus. The people who memorized the text were highly respected as they became the tools that could keep the tradition alive. Sanskrit grammar was developed by Hindus to facilitate composition of poetry. Ait Singh, 635 to 713 CE, a Chinese traveler who visited India, was impressed when he met people who could re recite hundreds of thousands of verses of Vedas. He wrote that the Vedas have been handed down from mouth to mouth, not transcribed on paper or leaves. In every generation, there exists some intelligent Brahmins who can recite 100,000 verses. This is far from being a myth, for I myself have met such men. Al-Biruni, an Islamic scholar who lived in India for some 13 years during the 11th century, wrote of the importance of poetic literature in popularizing science. He wrote that by composing their books in meters, that is poetry, Hindus intend to facilitate their being learnt by heart and to prevent people in all questions of science ever recurring to a written text, save in case of bare necessities, for they think that the mind of the man sympathizes with everything in which there is symmetry and order and has an aversion to everything in which there is no order. Therefore, most Hindus are passionately fond of their verses and are always desirous of reciting them and the audience will snap their fingers in token of joy and applause. During the Islamic invasion of India, libraries were burnt. As an example, the libraries of uh, Nalanda and Vikramshila were destroyed around 1200 CE by Bhaktiar Khilji. However, the most of the sacred literature of the Hindus was easily reproduced because Hindus had memorized the poetic verses of their sacred literature. The tradition of memorization of sacred texts or lack thereof had a profound outcome for world cultures. Comparatively speaking, when the textual riches of Alexandria, China, Baghdad and Rome were flamed, the glory of these cultures dissipated like smoke in the sky. In contrast, the Hindus could still salvage much of their textual riches.